Today I'm going to be doing a showcase and tutorial for StickJit or Stick Debug, depending on what version you install. And it is a on-device debugger that can be used to enable JIT offline and online using LTE or Wi-Fi. And so even when you have no connection, you can use this for stuff like Mellow NX, Folium, uh, Provenance, any emulator or anything that requires JIT or really relies on JIT a lot for performance can really benefit from this. And as you can see in the background, um, literally took, it was, it was snappy. Took maybe three to like five seconds just to click it, start a game, done. And it's untethered completely. You do use a VPN, not to connect with a external server or anything, but it just allows for your device to communicate with itself to start the debugging process, which then enables JIT. The initial setup, you're going to need a computer, but other than that, you're just going to need to sideload one app, which is Stick B Debug, and then eventually you won't even need Stoss VPN, which is in the App Store. All you'll need is the app Stick Debug and then your pairing file, and you are good to go, which I will also showcase that in this video. To begin, you're going to need to join their Discord server, iDevice. Um, I will be putting a Discord link in the description so you can join it and look at the stick user manual. I do recommend you reading over this and not just following my video tutorial. But if you found that confusing, you can also go here. So you are going to need a program called a Jitterbug Pair on your Mac OS or Windows machine. And then you're also going to need Side Store or Alt Store to be able to sideload Stick Debug or Stick JIT. Stick Debug is only on the test flight right now. And so I'm going to be showing the Stick JIT installation. And so you are going to need those pre-required apps and sideloading services. If you already had side store, it makes it even easier because you can use the same pairing file. And so if you have that, you're basically already done. So you can just skip this step right here. And so if you don't have side store and you don't have a pairing file set up, you're going to want to go over to this GitHub that's in the discord and download the latest zip for your machine. Just run it. And then for Mac OS, you're going to get this stupid little pop up. Go in the system settings and go into privacy and security. Scroll all the way down and press open anyway. Type in your password or do your little touchpad and then let it run. So now that you've gotten that stupid little message out of the way, you're going to want to plug in your device and then just run it again. But make sure not to do what I did here where I plugged in my device and then ran it too quick as my Mac was still trying to recognize the device it was just plugged into. So make sure you just give it a second or else you'll have this where the pairing file doesn't show up and then the device shows I run it again. And now you can see my device is there. And so now it's creating a pairing file and you just let it run and let it complete this process. And then I will be right back. Once the terminal has completed, you're just going to want to go into your search bar and type in dot mobile and then find your pairing file. So right now I have two. One is just in my iCloud drive. You're just going to want to get whatever one is local to your actual computer. Zip it up and then send it to your phone in some way, whether that's Mega or iCloud drive or locally through AirDrop, whatever. Once you've done that, you're just going to want to unzip the pairing file on your phone, wherever it might be, and then download Stoss VPN on the App Store. Go in the side store, sideload the stickjit IPA that is located in the iDevice Discord that I had mentioned earlier. Just sideload it, wait here, be patient, and then you're basically done after this. Once you import your pairing file, you're you're good to go. You can just, as long as you have uh, airplane mode on, you can run JIT. So if you're like out and about, you can't use LTE, just turn on airplane mode, enable it, and then turn airplane mode back off super super easy and after that you're done you can just enable JIT now a couple things to note until stick debug has come out officially you are going to need stoss vpn to be able to run stick JIT. 
But once stick debug is here, it's going to be integrated into the app and you can just open the app, run it and you're all done. And so that's what I'm using here. And then just to showcase, I am on the latest iOS 18.5, the latest beta. There's nothing to update to right now. Just to show how great of a product these developers have really brought us. And so I just want to sing the highest praise I possibly can. Um, a lot of these developers you've seen throughout this channel, and you probably know of them just on your own volition. People like Stefan, or also known as Blue, super busy guy. He has so much going on, like with school, his other apps. And then also along with this as well, he's done a great job implementing this into iOS. And then JK Coxon, he's done so much to help the sideloading community, especially with JitStreamer EB, but just all of his work done with JitStreamer in general. Stasi 11 she created Mellow NX and also Pomelo. Very, very known developer, amazing person. And then Neo as well. Super friendly guy, amazing certs. Some of he he answers all of the questions I have about my own apps and everything I may not know. Every everyone on this list is an amazing, amazing developer. And so also what comes with stick debug is the console logs. And so it's not only meant for JIT at this point, where you can also really debug your apps locally on your device with no other not needing anything else, which has never been done before. And so these these people have just really showcased what they can do. And so I, I would just really, really suggest anyone that comes across this video and uses it to please show your absolute and most support that you can to these people because they, they have given us a treat. For now, I anyone can go anywhere and use JIT, just like Android. Definitely not to the same, like level or anything like that, but we're getting closer and closer every day.